We need to do this in order to keep USPS alive. We're not buying it. We know why they're doing it. Alex? Who belongs to Alex? UPS and FedEx. Yeah. And since this pre-funding mandate, their profits have increased, so they've already benefited from this. And if they can take the United States Postal Service and drive it even further into a death spiral, it's going to make it so much easier for it to be privatized. Are you, are you guys okay with that? Are you okay with what Alex is saying? The initial plan for the closures is halted. People are sighing a sigh of relief because now we're supposedly only facing our cuts. But as all of you have probably heard by now, 129 rural post offices are facing closure within the next two years. We went from 41 to 129. They will hand their postcard individually to the manager. This is a, a postcard to the, to the postmaster general. We actually want to deliver them to you. Who's next? If people lose their jobs, it's not good. Let nobody turn us around, turn us around, turn us around. We want to turn us around. We thought we'd keep on walking, keep on talking, talking to the freedom. Are you trying to occupy the post office? Yeah. Oh. Where, where? You are trespassing at this point. They have control of the building. You are subject to trespass arrest. I'm going to walk out, and I would hope that you guys all follow me out of here. Because if I don't have people follow me out of here, I'm going to come back with my officers and make sure we can arrest. Okay? You guys think about that? Will it be peaceful arrest? You know, you know what it's like. If you guys are peaceful, we're peaceful as well. I mean, you know, okay. You know, I, mean, you know, I just was asking, yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, I don't want to do this any more so than I. I'd rather not arrest anybody. But if I'm going to arrest somebody, I'd like, love to do it peacefully and easily and get it all done. There are people here in Portland, Oregon, who are speaking up for many people around the country. Uh, yeah, public building. Why do you got to hide that? Right back. That's so wrong. That's so wrong. Right back. That is so wrong. You got so my wrong. job, and I always loved my work, and I was always proud of it. Right. And any time my boss gave me grief, I said to him, look, you guys signed my paychecks, but I work for my customers. Right. The reason I wanted the sidewalk there is just to give us enough space to and make sure it doesn't get amped up. That's yeah, the whole thing. I can understand. Yeah, I did notice one of the people fell getting in the van. Oh, did they really? Yeah. So that's okay. The glasses. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll check on them. Those vans are kind of hard for people to get into when they're all cuffed up. So I, just. No, it's. It, I'll, I'll check on them. Yeah. You know, the problem is we don't have any good vehicles to do mass arrest. I know. This, so well, it's kind of. I know. I don't have to arrest anybody, right, Joe? <laughs>